let's take a look at a couple of buttons on the advanced digitizing toolbar, which you can see by going to the view menu, toolbars, and then advanced digitizing toolbar. It will be grayed out unless you're in edit mode, so make sure you select the layer you want to edit, click on the editing button, and then the toolbar buttons become active. So we'll look at the reshape features tool here. I'll click that and we're going to extend Texas to the west. So I'll left click first of all inside the shape and I'll just draw a shape to how I want to extend Texas and then I'll finish left click inside the shape and then I'll right click to finish that shape and you'll see it will reshape the feature. So the polygon extends and I can do that again left click inside the shape to finish right click. There we go. So that's one thing we can do. I'll undo these. And then the other tool is offset curve. It's not immediately obvious what this does. It's best just to try it. So I'll click that. I'll click inside the shape and then I'll drag the cursor towards the center. And it's kind of like an internal buffer tool. And the distance of this from the edge of the shape is shown in the top right of the map canvas. So I'll left click and then we get a reshaped Texas. I'll undo that. If you're using offset, curve and left click and you go outside the shape and then left click to finish, you might see this error message that's not valid. So just be aware of that. So two tools there are quite useful, reshape features and offset curve. And of course, if you've edited it and you want to keep it like it is, when you turn off editing, you'll be asked whether you want to save or discard your edits. In this case, I'm just gonna discard them. Hopefully you'll find that useful in your work.